We are now on to number 44, video number 44. This one's going to be called How Ancient Indians May as Aliens Multiplied Numbers. Now this is very important. When I started doing the wow signal on my own, I started doing my own little calculations and I found out after the fact that it was kind of almost like the way they do it from 3,000 years ago. So this is my research on how they did it, just so you can see what it looks like. So this is Japanese multiplication methods from the ancient world. They got one, two, and you got three and four this way. I really don't know how to do it that way, just so you know. And they come up with 12 times 34. So this is the 12 times the 34. And then it shows you how they do their fractions, okay? So it says, draw the lines representing the numbers to intersect each other as shown in the figure. Count the number of points of intersection in each bracketed section starting from the right. So this website that I found is called math66.com forward slash tag multi multiplication. If you go there, you can find out all these instructions on how to do this. Isn't that cool? So that's it. And... Uh, I usually copy and paste my notes, but because this is from another blog, I probably won't be able to. I'll be able to maybe copy and paste this stuff to show you, and then I'll do a reference to the blog. So that uh, this is kind of like a bit of a blog tour as well for other bloggers that do this kind of stuff. I can direct you to their site. But the reason I put the notes here is so that when I do a search all notebooks, if there's a term that comes up, I can look and see if it's actually showing up somewhere else. Okay. So that shows you the different types of equation. This is the longer math, 3. But you see how complicated they did it back then? Like, we got it easy now. <laughs> Look how they did it. It goes to show how more advanced they were. This is all the different numbers and stuff. It's just fascinating for me. I was like, wow. I wouldn't even know where to start. Can you imagine being a kid trying to figure this out? Okay, so that shows you how they get to their final computation for this math equation takes forever to get through. But anyways, that's what that video is. It's a very short video.